All right, I am on my home computer today. Uh, I'm going to be, because this home computer has an old version of Stata installed on it, particularly Stata 10, which is the one that I bought when I was an undergrad and still have. Uh, so as you can see, when I try to open this data set, which was made in Stata 14 in Stata 10, it does not work. It tells me it's not Stata format. Of course, it is Stata format. It's just not Stata 10 format. Uh, Stata is backwards compatible. You can use new versions to open old files, but you cannot use old versions to open new files. Now, why they have not just written themselves a function that deals with this problem, I do not know. Who knows? Um, maybe they just want to buy the new version, but we're going to figure out how to get around this problem. Now, the probably the best way to do this is just to save it as an old version in the first place. If you're in your new version of Stata and you use the save old command, you can use that to save to older versions of Stata. Uh, now, there's a couple problems with this. One, if you're just given the data, you can't do that right, without bugging the person who made it in the first place. And two, save old will only go back so many versions. So even if, even if I opened up state of 14 and tried to do save old, it would only go back a couple versions. Uh, but what I could do is tell state of 14 to save it as version 13 and then use the user uh, created command, use 13, which you have to install with SFC install. Uh, and then I could do use 13 to uh, open up this data set. Now, uh, you might already guess that there's going to be a problem here, uh, and that problem is going to be that I created this in state of 14, not state of 13. So when I try to open it up using use 13, it's not going to work. Uh, now, there's, to my, the best of my knowledge, nothing like use 14 uh, or use 15. Who knows what's probably going to happen with state of 15. But this doesn't work either, so we need to figure out another way around this. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to use R. Uh, so R is going to be our way around this. Yeah, just download and install R Studio if you don't already have it. Um, and uh, what we're going to do is we're going to read in uh, that new data set with R. We're going to output a new usable version of Stata. So in order to read those new versions of Stata files, we're going to need to install a special package here as well. Uh, and so in R, the way that you install packages is install.packages. And we're going to be installing the package read Stata 13. So we're going to let that run. Install the package. Uh, now, in R, unlike in Stata, once you've installed a package, that's not enough, right? You can't just use it right away. Uh, every time you load up R again, you're going to need to uh, load that package into memory one more time. And so once we've installed this, it's still not going to be ready to go. We're going to need to do library read Stata 13. Great. Now it's ready to go. So what we're going to do is we're going to read in to Stata, uh, into, into R a uh, new data set that we're going to call data, and we're going to to do it using the read.dta13 command. Uh, now you notice, like use 13, this is called talking about state of 13 version, but this will this one conveniently will also work for state of 14. Uh, who knows what state of 15 will bring? Uh, because this is R, we're going to need to replace all these backslashes in the file uh, with forward slashes. Maybe there's some way around this in R, but it's never bothered me enough to really figure it out. Copy that. We're going to need to use that again. Great, so that's going to read in. Now we have our data set stored in memory. Now we're going to write it back out again in the old version of Stata. Now, uh, in order to do that, we're going to need to install an, or import another package. This one, I believe, is already, it comes pre-installed. Pre um, it's foreign. It's going to help us deal with foreign data types. And then we're going to do write.bta. It's going to help us write a Stata file. Uh, and we're going to write that to data for regs underscore old. We're going to save that to the old version. Uh oh, I forgot to turn it into a data frame. So what we're going to do uh, is we're going to take this uh, matrix here and we're going to turn it into a data frame. Oh, no, actually, no, we didn't do it. I just put in the wrong syntax. Sorry about that. So it's going to be data and then file equals. So all we've got to check that syntax or you do silly things like I just did. So that should work. There we go. So now it's written. Uh, and I can go to the folder. I can see that it saved it right there for me. I'm going to open it right up. And it works. Uh, now, not everything is going to translate over, right? The variable labels have been dropped. Uh, the uh, value labels have been dropped as well. Uh, but you do have the data now open, and you can actually use it. Uh, this is a nice little trick. I hope you get some use out of it if you happen to have an old version of Stata.